Hi, this is Barry, and let me introduce you to the claimed phrases. My name is Alan Barry Amonikwe and I'm from Jamestown, Asere, in the greater Accra region of Ghana. I enjoy playing soccer, listening to music and reading. That's what I usually do during my, my free time. And I believe in the power of, of Jesus Christ. I believe in the tangible presence of God. And I believe in the fact that when the Holy Spirit steps in, situations change. Anyone who encounters the Holy Spirit has a change of life, and a change in life. So, yeah. Okay, so Barry Ministry became Barry Ministry. And yeah, when we started getting the opportunity to minister at concerts, various concerts, at that point in time, we started building a team. And well, it, it took a lot of prayer. The Kingdom Vessels came after a lot of deliberation. I remember sometimes we had one on the group and we kept saying, we need a name for the group, or we can't keep. People can't keep calling us Barry and the Bad or Barry and his people. Clap for Barry and his people! <laughs> so, we need to find a name. Okay, so, we took a lot of prayer. And I remember when the Holy Spirit laid us on my heart, I called them the Kingdom Vessels. So, Barry and the KBs. So, that was, that was it. So, initially it was just Barry, but now it's Barry and the KBs. And two dates. And to date, most of them are still with me by the grace of God. And it's, it's a humbling, a humbling opportunity for me, for them to, to buy into my vision, to buy into the vision that God has placed in my care and decide to run with me as I run. So, I love you guys with all my heart. This was supposed to be part of a documentary, but I'm saying it. I love you guys with all my heart. And I appreciate you every day and I pray for you every day. So the Haze album, that's like my first ever major project that I have embarked on. And I remember when I was recording this album, it was it was everything to me. I remember times where I had to ride, like, ride a bicycle to go to the studio. I remember times where our files got got missing. I remember times where I had to sit somewhere and wait for our files. Like it has been a journey. Well, I, it, it was it was something else. It was it was a period that. I believe strongly the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit placed in my life to, to teach me so much about endurance, about passion, about perseverance. And there were so many times where I felt like, Charlie, I'm tired, I can't do this anymore. But I just couldn't leave the project alone. Okay. Um, initially the album was supposed to be called Brand New Day, but eventually it changed to He Is after an encounter that I had with the Holy Spirit. So yeah, so the album was good. I enjoyed everything about it. I had, it gave me the opportunity to to launch the the, the, the brand. I call it the brand. Of course, the ministry primarily. And it gave us an opportunity to minister at concerts. It gave us an opportunity to put ourselves out there. Okay, put ourselves out there. Allow people to critique our work. Then critique how we minister and how we're supposed to be doing things because as, as a man of God, even though there's a spiritual aspect, there is also the physical and mental aspect that you need to combine to be able to to flow in the wisdom and knowledge of God. Okay, so claim phrase is the latest project that we're working on. Barry and the Kingdom Vessels are working on. Um, it's it has been a joy working on this project because it takes us 
it gives us opportunity to to give the public a worship a worship project okay so clean phrases is a worship album made up of nine songs and um, some of the songs are songs that have been done in the past by us so with relation to the name claimed phrases it's us using songs that have been done in the past by us and by other renowned men of god and bringing them back to life so lyrics that have been claimed already by men of god or by the heavenly beings and us bringing them back to life so that's that's where the claimed phrases came from so we are hoping this album brings life to to listeners and we are hoping this album will draw others into a certain atmosphere of worship and it's the atmosphere of continuous worship so we are believing and trusting in the in the power of the holy spirit and the inclination that he has given us to work on this album to give to his people so we are hoping that a lot of people are blessed through it yeah. it's not going to be like any usual album but then it's going to be an encounter people are going to encounter god people are going to experience god people are going to experience the holy spirit through the song on the album and then um i'm also expecting to be um um revived myself because then it hasn't gotten to the part where like the vocalists have to go and record but then I'm expecting it to be like a revival for me and then a transformation for me and my family and my work with God. Great. I mean, anyone who listens to this album should be blessed. It's, it's not just for fun. I mean, it's, it's a whole atmosphere. It's like when the Ark of God entered the tabernacle, how the glory of God filled the whole place. Filled the whole place. This is what the album does to me. Anytime I even listen to the rehearsal recording, there's this glory that fills the whole place. I expect that anyone who listens to this will be mightily blessed. Thank you. Yeah. I'm expecting more than just listening to the lyrics, more than just listening to the music. But but using the song to preach, using the song to learn, using the song to move forward, to walk in the right path. I'm expecting a lot of things. Personally, I'm expecting the song to be, the whole album to be um, 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 sort of my, 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 my reference point. If I'm about to lose track, my fellowship of God, I listen to the album, I come back. But for other people, I expect that it becomes something good, something great for them. The Claim Phrases album. Um, I'm looking forward to an amazing worship experience, first of all. Even with recording and with rehearsal, you can tell that this is different. I mean, these are words and songs that have been used before, they've been used in the past, but they bring a certain freshness because you can tell that they are coming from a place of spirit and truth. And honestly, that's what I am looking forward to, that anybody who listens to any song on the album would connect to the spirit and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. You know, worship from a place of true worship. Yes, that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I really like about Barry and the Kingdom Bliss is we've been very particular about not just singing. We are intentional about making impact in people's lives, about being vessels through which God will use to change people's lives through the music that we sing. Especially with this album, Clean Phrases, I'm very certain that if people are willing to, their lives can be changed. This project can push people deeper and take them a step further when it comes to intimacy in their relationship with God. So it's one major expectation I have after we release the Claim Phrases album that individuals across the world would just be able to testify that through listening to this album and worshiping with this album, their relationship with God has become tighter and deeper. And I'll forever be chasing after you Hi, I'm Barry. 
and allow me to introduce you to the King Francis. I'm in a man. I'm in a man.